Hello, Sandra. How are you? Uh, wow, well, not very well, but anyway, here I am. Oh, why? What happened? Um, the flu is very strong now. Mm. Uh huh. And, and I was, I'm sorry. And I was exposed to the air conditioner from on the car and and in the in the malls, you know. So it has been complicated for me. Okay. Okay. Hey, and teacher. Good evening. Medicine? Hello. 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 Sandra, are you taking medicine? Um, yes, I have, I have, but I, I suppose that I will be better. Okay, okay, good. Yes, thank good. you. Good evening. Hello, Walter. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Hi. Doing great. Thank you. What hey. about you? Great. Great to see you again. Hey, did you remember you, you had a mustache before? <laughs> I don't know what happened to you. You look so young. <laughs> Younger. younger, 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 yeah. Younger, younger. yeah. You look younger. Younger. Uh huh. I used to have the mustache and the beard, yes. And then I said, ah, it's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot in this moment. Mm -hmm. Look like twenty. Nice, nice. nice. <laughs> it helps me look younger. Yeah. Of course. And how are you, Walter? How have you been? I'm doing great. Thank you. Teacher, good, good. Yeah, good. I have a, a big expectatives for this course. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. We're going to practice more uh, yeah. for the exam, the reading, the yeah. listening. Excellent. But I imagine uh, 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 in this module, there are uh, 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 another topics in the in the exam, I think. Yes, we're going Always to. Always referring to the, the questions. Referring a kinds of questions, I think. Yes, yes, it's a matter of a different techniques or strategy, uh, depending okay. on the type of questions and how you are with your time. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's the, different that the 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 course mm, um, in the model one. Um, a couple exercises are different. Um, but the exam is the same exam, so. It's always about just reviewing and practicing the different techniques and being coming masters of it. So not learning about it, but now implementing it, using it. Mm -hmm. I, I was talking with Sandra before teacher and Sandra told me, told me, hey, Walter, after the, the course, uh, 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 TOEFL course, there are a uh, toy course in the uh, English corporativo? Toy? I don't know yeah. if there's a toy. I, I, I oh. don't think so. But I know there's a conversation course. Oh, a conversation course. Ah, okay. Yeah. After. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, but I, I'm sorry. Um, I received a communication from from English corporativo uh -huh. uh, where there appear the, the three courses, one, two, and three of TOEIC two. Of TOEIC or TOEFL? Tuffle three and then toic. A toic. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. And then the conversation. Okay. And then you can have the conversation. Yes. But remember the toic and the tofu, it's the same thing, only different names. It's, oh. like, it's the same but different names because it's like avanzo and pies. Mm. Okay. Uh, the two are two different companies, but it's the same function. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure that we have all of the things. It's great to see all of you. Uh, we're going to begin by reviewing how the course is so that we are clear. This course lasts four weeks. We have uh, 16 classes. Week one, we're going to finish section one. Week two, we're going to finish section two and a midterm exam. This is like a little quiz or test of section one and two. Then week three and four, we have section three and then section four, including the final exam, which also is about it. Each part is one week for each activity. So this means first week is a lot about reading, a lot of reading, 
and getting the information and being able to express it and paraphrase it and understand it. Week two is about listening, comprehension, making sure that you grasp the ideas, main ideas, specific ideas, information. Speaking is different types of ways to answer questions and how to get the maximum amount of points when you have to answer the questions for your speaking test. And finally, the part of writing, how we can improve our writing and our activities. Remember, just like in the course from before, you can check your progress. You go there, you need minimum 75 to pass. Try to get 80 or more to be sure. We have each section, we have different parts where we have. Speaking and writing don't have any grades, only practice. The only parts that have grades are reading and listening, which are the most important because that's where you get your grade to be able to go on to TOEFL module three. Okay, any questions at this moment? No, no, it is, it is clear. Sorry. It is clear. Okay, great. So then, uh, uh, teacher. Yes. Do you have a manual manual in this course? There is no manual in any course. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> you uh, okay, good. Teacher, uh, I'm sorry, teacher. Um, uh, are you going to let us develop our our question here, uh, so we can work together? I'm sorry, Sandra, I'm not clear. What is your what is your question? Well, my question is that if you are going to help us to the to develop the 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 um the questions uh, on the platform, I mean. Oh, the same as before. Yes. We're going to do yes, of course. Um uh, the first is always not to develop it together, but first is to show you how to do it, then okay. for you, and then for you and your partners to do it together. After okay. that, we check together to make sure that it's clear and you don't have any mistakes. And then if there are any questions, then I help you by explaining to you why it's wrong or why we can do about it. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Welcome, Sandra. Good. Anybody else? Any other questions? <coughs> no. No more questions. No more questions. Perfect. Then let me show you the video um, that is from Insafort before we begin, and then we can get started with our course. El Insafort ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Además, el Insaforp también genera oportunidades para los jóvenes y los salvadoreños en condiciones de vulnerabilidad, 
ofreciendo para ellos cursos de formación inicial para que más salvadoreños puedan crecer y desarrollarse con programas como Hábil Técnico Permanente ofrece la enseñanza de técnicas y destrezas en diferentes oficios, complementando el conocimiento técnico con competencias blandas necesarias para desempeñar un trabajo. Empresa Centro es un exitoso programa que utiliza la modalidad de formación dual, ofreciendo carreras técnicas que combinan clases teóricas con prácticas en empresas con un alto porcentaje de empleabilidad. El proyecto Caminos de la Juventud forma a jóvenes en condiciones de vulnerabilidad que han finalizado el bachillerato, brindando formación vocacional, habilidades para el trabajo y emprendedurismo. Proyectos especiales. Los proyectos especiales son aquellas acciones de formación que incorporan a otros actores e integran elementos complementarios, como desarrollo humano, articulación con proyectos productivos, financiamiento de herramientas y equipo básico para el autoempleo, Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Ok. Pretty good. There we have. All right. Any questions before we begin? Everything is clear, sir. Ok. Wonderful. So remember, you have access to this course and as well as other courses if you are interested. All you have to do is contact Insaforp or the different centers. Today, we're going to begin our TOFU module two by taking a look at reading. Now, let's take a look and see what you remember. The first thing is, what do we remember from module one about reading? What kind of things or questions do we have in the reading? Mm -hmm. The treatment for the in reading, okay, in reading a section. <clears throat> we have challenges with reading. Uh huh. So oh, tell me what you remember. Don't worry. What are Walter? The... <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Oh my God. Oh my yeah, God. About... Only, only two weeks vacation. <laughs> what happened? And everybody, oy, oy, we have to do module one again. What happened? What yeah. happened? Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay. Don't worry. Let's take a moment very quickly. We're going to make small groups with your partners together. What do you remember? What do you remember about reading? What are some of the techniques? the strategies, the different things that we need to have, what type of questions do they ask us in reading? Only quickly, only four minutes, to try to remember all oh, whatever it is that you have. Remember, what is the question? What are the different problems you face in reading? What are the different techniques that you have in order to implement? Whatever you remember about reading, okay? Yancy?
Miren. Are you just connecting in this moment? Irena? Sorry, teacher. Good night. I had troubles with my with my computer and I changed to my cell phone and now I finally connect. Okay. With you and, and with the other uh, classmates. No problem. Sometimes it happens. It's okay. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. I'm glad that you're able to connect. In this Thank moment, you. Uh, Eden, did you do a uh, TOEFL module one? Oh, excuse me? Did you do module one? Yes, I do. But I did about nine months ago. Uh, okay, perfect. So in this moment, that's what we're reviewing. We're just taking a look at what do you remember about the reading section for module? What do you need? What are the different techniques or strategies that you have or that you need to implement in order to pass the test for module for the reading section? Do you remember anything about the reading section, Irene? Well, um, sincerely, I don't remember so much, but um i think that for me um i prefer to to speak and to to have more listening to and to comprehension the the things for the model okay that is not the function of this module but thank you very much the function of this module is to help you prepare for the exam in the tofu exam you have four sections and those four sections are what we're going to be focusing on in this course. This course is not going to help you for your speaking and your read listening and your reading in general. It's going to help you for those areas for your academic functions because the TOEFL is an exam. It's similar to a PIES or Avanzo or getting into university. This is the function. And because it is an exam, it's different than a normal conversation that you have with your friend. It's not the same ideas and it's not the same techniques, okay? So we're going to be focusing on this part. This week, the reading. Let's start off with reading section one. Guys, what do you remember about reading section one? What are some of the different types of questions or things that you have to do in order to get a good score in the reading? Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. Well, in my case, I remember that I need to, well, we need to to read the equation first uh, because I I was doing the opposite and when I finished the, when I finished reading the paragraph, so I, and then I read the equation, I always return to the paragraph and read it again. <laughs> okay, good, excellent technique. One of the strategies is, Always first read the question. Why are you reading? What information are you looking for? That's one. Because many times, like Carlos says, you read and then you forget. Oui. Mm -hmm. uh, the question, I don't, what was the question? I And then you don't know. Excellent. Anybody else? A technique or a strategy that you remember? You need to get uh, some keywords. Some words. Um... Especially in the in the when you read and uh, very fast, you need to look some words and uh, uh, key words. I don't know. Very good, Yancy. One of the things is about speed. You're right. One of the most important parts for the test is your time. Believe me, I have seen more people get mistakes for not finishing the test because they, they just didn't have the time. So you have to remember, like what Yancy is trying to remember, it, skimming and scanning. When is correct to skim? When is correct to scan? How do you know? Well, what Carlos says, first read the question. If they are asking for a lot of information, you need to read all of the paragraph. If they are only asking you, for example, in line 15, this word is closest in meaning to then only read line 15. 
You mm -hmm. don't need to read all of it. Those are some of the things that we're going to see in this moment. But it's good. The important is to see how much information we remember. And it's clear that what is our goal and our objective for this course. Okay. Let's take a look here. Reference. Welcome to our TOEFL preparation course two. Let's begin with the reading section. In this section, we will walk you through four types of reading questions. We will explain them to you as well as to give you examples. Then you may go on doing some practices and then finally you will take a short test. Okay, let's use our analysis. We have four different types of questions. What is the first type of question? Vocabulary questions. Yeah, super easy, right? It's just like the example that I gave you. In line 15, this word is closest in meaning to da, da, da. That's excellent. Then the second type. What is the second type of question? Reference questions. Reference questions. What are reference questions? Uh, what are reference questions? Yes, what are they? Do you remember what they were? We saw them in module one. Uh, really? <clears throat> well, um, the, maybe there is a, a, um, a keyword mm -hmm. that we can uh, associate with the, with the reading, with the passage. Okay, great. So many times, Sandra is mentioning, it's about the passage. We're talking about, for example, uh, which item is not mentioned, remember? Or uh, which one of the following uh, is not included? What well, reference? We use the passage, the text, to be able to get or extract the information. And there are different types of forms. Remember, there are two types. One is what information is missing, and then the other one is what information is not correct. Those are the two that are normally the tricky ones. Sentence simplification questions. The next one, what would that be? <laughs> okay. Sentence simplification question is another way to say that. What would be a paraphrase? What would be a simple way to mention that? That would be sentence simplification questions. And then the last one, insert text questions. What do you think would be the, that one? Maybe there is a, a space, a space uh, where we can insert any, any, any word of, of WH questions. Okay, very good, Sandra. Now, let me explain the insert text questions. There are two types of insert text questions. One, like Sandra said, there is a space and you are missing a word or a phrase and you have to complete. The other type of insert text question is they give you the sentence. And then they say, this sentence would best be put in which paragraph and where you have to identify where in the passage would you insert that text? What is the best place to locate it? Mm -hmm. That would be the other type of insert text questions, which are the ones that we're going to start developing, those two different types. So today we're going to have a good idea. We have many different types of questions in our reading and we're going to practice it. Here we're going to watch a couple of videos before we start. Hello, welcome to TOEFL Preparation Course 2. Today we're going inside the reading section. Let's begin with vocabulary questions. Vocabulary questions ask you to identify the meaning of words and phrases as they are used in the reading passage. It's easy to identify vocabulary questions because there will be a word or phrase highlighted in the reading passage and you will see questions like this with phrases like closest in meaning or the author means. 
the word X in the passage is closest in meaning to. The phrase X in the passage is closest <coughs> in meaning to. Or in stating X, the author means that. Now let's look at a sample vocabulary question. Okay. Here, who would like to read this part? Me too. Thank you, Walter. Okay. Oh, the horse has played an a little known but very important role in the field of the medicine. Okay. Very good, Walter. I'm going to stop you right there. Walter okay. is doing a very nice job in reading, but it's not the correct technique. What is the first thing that we do when we begin our reading? I remember. Uh, I read the, the, the answer first. Exactly. Before yeah. reading the passage, do yeah. not yeah. always, always, always. Yeah, first. yeah. Go ahead, Walter. Please okay. incorrectly. The word serum is right. The pronunciation serum. Serum. serum mm -hmm. Yes. Is close as meaning to a uh, letter A ointment, letter B antioxidant, letter C blood, and letter D acid. Okay. The last, the last one, the pronunciation is acid. Acid, okay. Acid. Okay. And now, okay. now Walter has, thank you, Walter. Walter has two choices. Walter can choose to read all of the passage or Walter can choose to only read a section. Which technique do you think is the most appropriate for this? Which technique would you guys use? Would you read? I all? think it's, uh, I read the line where find the uh, the word serum. Okay. Serum. I think it's the third line. Said then uh, serum was made from their blood. Okay. I think it's letter C, and this example. Okay. Okay. Good. Now that is the trick. Thank you, Walter. It is a tricky because serum is not blood. It was made from the blood. So it's not blood. Okay. That's how we know because it's not blood because it's extracted from blood. So that means C is not correct. It has to be A, B, or D. Now we continue reading. Walter? Please read from the beginning so that we can all learn what would be the correct meaning of serum. Okay. The horse has played a little known but very important role in the field of the medicine. Horses were injected with toxins of diseases until their blood built up immunities. Then a serum, serum was made from their blood. Serums to five buff this diphtheria and tetanus were developed in this way. Mm, okay. So what do you think would be the best meaning for uh, C? Letter B, teacher. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. In, good, very good. Why? Here, because we see horses were injected with toxins. And from the toxins, we extract. So then we make. So that means that from toxins is the opposite. Here, there is not another word that means opposite, but there is anti. Anti toxin. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. I got okay. it. Can you read the last part? Okay. According to the passage, horses were given toxins to which they became, became immune. The blood was made into serums, which act as antioxidants against to the toxins of diseases. Therefore, your show shows B. Okay, good. That is some of the techniques that we can use. Always try to get, try to first identify, ui, this one no, and then which one yes. They're not usually words that you can guess from context. So the best general strategy to be ready for this type of questions is to build your vocabulary. 
Here's a tip for increasing your vocabulary. Many English words come from Latin or Greek. So if you study Latin and Greek roots, that will help you remember the meaning of words. And it can also help you figure out the meaning of words you may not know. <coughs> Good. Now, one thing that's very important is here. Most of the time, uh. it's difficult or it's impossible to guess the meaning from the context. If you don't have a basis of the word, for example, if you don't know what is toxins, it's very difficult for you to get. Now, we are lucky because we speak Spanish and many of the words are similar in Latin. Toxins, similar to Spanish, right? So we can get an idea. This is the important, but the most important is expand the vocabulary for this type of language, all of the different things. It's okay. What are vocabulary questions and how to answer them? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, excellent. Let's take a look at reference questions and what would be appropriate for reference questions. Hi, in today's class, we will discuss a reference question. In a reference question, you are asked what the highlighted word refers to. If it's a pronoun, then you need to identify what word the pronoun is replacing. Here are highlighted words you may be asked about. Number one, subject pronoun, it, they. Number two, object pronoun, it, them. Number three, demonstrative pronoun, these, those, this, that. Number four, possessive adjectives, it's, their. Number five, other reference words, the former, the later, one, ones, another, other, others. It is important to remember that you don't need a full understanding of the complete passage in order to solve this question type. You just need to study the context surrounding the word. Usually, you just read the sentence where the highlighted word is mentioned, and then read a few sentences that come before it. Let's see an example of a reference question. Okay. Now, here is where you can save time when doing the test. Super easy. They. Okay. All I need to understand is they. What okay. is they? So, my technique, the one that I use when I take the test, the exam, is always I read the sentence before and I read that sentence. So, for me, I always begin one sentence before to be clear. Okay. So in my case, I go, okay, right here. However, women are most likely than men to suffer uh, asphyxia when the front part of the brain is damaged. This clearly indicates that the brains of men and women are organized differently in the way they process speech. Oh, so the way they process speech. Uh, are they talking about men? Are they talking about women? Are they talking about brains? or researcher. Well, here I learned that we are already talking about the brains of men and women. We are not talking about men and mm -hmm. women. We are talking about their right. brains. So right. who process speech? Who is who or what process speech? It's not men. It's mm -hmm. not women. The process the speech is the brain. brain. So then I select letter C and I didn't have to read all of it. Um, this is the idea. I don't read all of it. Why not? Hey, teacher, pero no lo, no lo entiendo if I don't read. No, you don't need. Your goal is not to understand all of it. Your goal is answer the question. Go to the next. Answer the question. Go to the next. Is hey, teacher. Yes. But, but the, the word they... Mm -hmm. uh, your highlight in the paragraph in the exam. Yes, it when does. Say, the word yes. they uh, is necessary to me to find that word in the passage or appear highlight. Appear highlighted. You don't have to okay. look for it. You, okay. uh -huh. Normally, there are two forms. Very good question, Walter. Okay. Most of them in this type is going to give you the highlighted word. Uh -huh. This is that. And the other form is they give you a number, for example, uh -huh. in the side of the paragraph, 
number, they're going to say in line 17, mm -hmm. the word an animosity means, and then you go to line 17, and then you look for that. Okay. But very good question. Okay. When when they talk about the person who they, uh, all of those, always, always, they're going to highlight it. When they mm -hmm. tell you about a word, they're going to give you the number. Okay. 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 Uh, the technique is is real only, for example, two lines where find mm -hmm. that word, not complete paragraph because uh, uh, I waste time doing exactly. that. Exactly. You read okay. the sentence before uh -huh. and, oh, you okay. read, and you read that sentence. Okay. That sentence. Many times, to be honest, Walter, many mm -hmm. times it's enough with reading the sentence. Mm -hmm. But I learned with the experience is better to read two sentences because then it's clear the context. Okay. Because sometimes with only one sentence, oh, but now you have to read again and you uh -huh. and, and then you waste time. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Better two sentences, mm -hmm. one before and that, and then boom, you understand exactly what they are talking about. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Good. These are the type of reference questions that you're going to get. This is one of the reference questions with the pronoun. The other, like I explained to Walter is, in line 13, the word ta 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 means, and then you have to identify it. It's okay? okay. Yes. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Now tell me, we saw two types of questions. What do we have to do for both types of question? What do we need to do in the first, in the vocabulary questions? Vane, you have your microphone on mute. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Or you are speaking to somebody in the house. <laughs> no. I just, <laughs> I just <laughs> was giving some instructions. <laughs> ah, okay. I thought because you were they are, they are too noisy now. And I, I'm telling them that she, they had to be in silent. <laughs> okay. Okay. She is calling someone. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Vanessa moving and I thought, oh, she wants to participate. I thought you <laughs> wanted to participate, Vane. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like Vane. Ya les dije, esperen que termine la clase. Ya van a ver. Mm, Vane. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> okay. So for vocabulary, Irena, what can we do to help us with the vocabulary questions? Well, the vocabulary questions, we have to identify uh the word and I, this is my uh, my opinion right mm -hmm. uh, we have to identify the word that uh, the key word i think okay okay good thank you jenny what do you agree or disagree with irena i think i i i i agree but i think that we identify identify the clauses in meaning. Okay. Yes. Correct. You need to identify the word. If you don't know the word, remember, if the word is new for you, the first is the technique elimination. Which word is not correct? Like what we did with Walter. Oui. If they make it from blood, then it's not blood because they make it from blood. So it's, it cannot be blood, mm -hmm. right? So, and then I only have three options. Yes, it's still difficult. I have three options, but now it's easier. I have more possibility to get correct and then try to go elimination by elimination. I think is the key is identify the context of the word. Yes. yes. Oh, oh, identify the root. Mm -hmm. Correct. The root. Mm -hmm. Correct. Time teacher to to identify you and were... and what time we will have to answer any uh, one question for example on the on the exam. To How be, many time we have? To be honest, you should try to get used to having the answer the questions in thirty to forty five seconds. <laughs> Imagine, yeah, mm -hmm. very difficult. Yes, but not is because. Um, I want you to understand that the the test is 
is not about one question. It's a time for all of the reading section. So in some times, you can save time by reading less and okay. being faster. In other times, you need to read the entire paragraph. And that's where you have to be very careful and playing with your time and how you do it. Okay. Okay. You. You're welcome. So the most important, really the most important, one of the, not the, but one of the most important things is always use time management. You have to learn how to manage your time. Nobody's going to tell you, wait, five minutes, quedan cinco minutos, get nobody. You have to learn. You begin the test and you have 40 minutes and you have 50 questions. It's yeah. your decision. Mm -hmm. It's your decision mm -hmm. how to use the time. Okay. That, okay, good. All right. So let's take a look. Okay. Let's have a little bit here. Yeah, very good. Sure. Yeah. What, what, is the, what is the best way to, to, to take an exam online or presential? I think is there are about mm -hmm. ways. Presential mm -hmm. or online? I don't know. Tell us. For me, I prefer the online. I prefer online for many different reasons. Yeah. But if you are a person or if you are nervous, for example, for mm -hmm. me, I have good internet. I have good headsets. I have good microphone. So I, I have the equipment because I use for my job. But if you don't have good equipment or if the internet is not stable or you don't have a good computer, it's better going in person. Ah, uh, okay. Because then you, uy, se fue la luz. Uy, es que se la electricidad. Yeah. Uy, es que, you don't believe me. Mm -hmm. This is going to change your life, the exam. If yeah. you go for immigration, if you go for the, it's a lot of money you pay for this. Hey, teacher, it went, happened that situation, for example, uh, the, the energy went out when I do my exam. Mm -hmm. What happened is, is start again, or, or oh. I need to pay everything uh, yes. again. Yes. Oh my God. Yes, because it's Sir, we don't have. We just have one opportunity for the exam, or we have just one. Just one. Oh my! <laughs> uh huh. But very good question, Walter. Okay. Because, as an example, if you lose internet, if you lose electricity, that the time on the exam continue even if you are not connected. So if you have. 15 minutes and then return the electricity you continue the exam but you continue with 15 minutes less and still have to answer all the questions oh oh teacher there are a a, a question uh, there are um a punctuation in an exam identify is i am a good student or bad student or what measure the exam i don't know I understand that the exam measure your level of English. Okay, but no, uh, say uh, Walter is a grade ten, for example, is a good. But yeah. it is if I got a bad grade, I'm bad student. I think. No, it's not for student. It's for English. Ah. Uh, because the exam. Academic is... language. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How many times can I apply on the exam? The money that you have. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The money that you and have. And how much is this, teacher? Okay. Uh -huh. Depend the exam that you take, Irena. Okay. Because the TOEFL has different categories. Ah, okay. okay. Remember that the cheapest, the cheapest exam, only for El Salvador, not for usage, really for usage international or for immigration or for scholarship. Mm -hmm. The cheapest exam is sixty dollars. Sixty dollar. Mm -hmm. And then, if you want to use the international exam, mm -hmm. it's like I believe one hundred and sixty dollars. Okay, oh. and I have to tell you just one time. No, you can take the time that you want. And the time can... that I have that one sixty dollars. Uh huh. One hundred and sixty dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But Irene, the exam is not like your graduation, is not like your diploma. The exam is only for two years. Oh, oh my God. God. It's not like you're, you graduate from the- forever and ever. No, this is, the, this is your degree. 
is not imagine imagine the high school imagine if every two years you have to take another pies another pies another pies to be valid this is the function of the exams because if you don't practice if you don't wait, study, wait. you forget when you were forget. you last time you took that that that, that TOEFL exam teacher um the last time i took it was last year last year nice. was the last time i needed to take it mm -hmm. oh my god <laughs> nice <laughs> yes okay and then it's similar to i work for a company that when the the people that is working at the engineering department they have to take the a certification uh, every two years too about yeah. the 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 brand they are uh, giving support this is the international standard the okay. international standard is two years for certificates the okay. certificates are not they are not like the the bachelor's degree or the high school diploma is not for life okay for for the technical aspects most international companies the validation is two years okay I was wrong about I saw that it just one time and forever in the life. Oh, that's nice, but no, <laughs> <Kelly>. <laughs> but no, thank you, okay. thank you, but no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. Now we're, we're going to read just a little bit of information to be clear. Okay. Jancy, can you please read here the TOEFL reading introduction? This part right here, can you see? Yes, the so TOEFL reading okay. introduction. I can the make it bigger. Section. You want me to make it bigger? There. No, it's it's, it's, it's okay. 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 Yes. The reading section is the first section of the TOEFL EBT test. It tests your ability to read and answer questions at the academic level. It contains three, four passages, with each passage contains 10 questions for a total of total of 30, 40 questions. Each passage is generally six, 600 to 700 words long. You have 54, 54, 72 minutes in which to finish the section. Okay, when you are taking the reading test, you can skip answer and come back to them later. You can come back and change your answer, answers and at any time during the reading testing period. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Now, why is this important? This is important because you are doing an exam for points. You are not doing an exam to learn. You are not there. Uy, esta palabra no me la puedo. Uy, this, you are not there to learn. You are there to test. So if you don't know the answer, select and go to the next. Igual estás haciendo thing, Marín. Igual. Igual. So if you don't know the answer in 30 yeah. seconds, if you don't know the answer in 30 seconds, select, boom go to the next select go to the next if you do the paper exam is nice because in the paper you put a little mark next to the number and when you finish the test you return and then you have time to analyze then you have time to take more time if you want to check but when you do in the internet is you don't have the opportunity to to write it down you need to go back and you need to remember which question it was. This is the, the problem that maybe it's a little bit more difficult. But uh, online, you can review, teacher. Yes. If you have time, of course. Of course, you can review. You can review and you can change the answer. Only okay. that it's, it's a little bit more difficult because in the paper, only you go and change. But online, click, 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 click. Mm. Imagine you have to you click back. You have to click 20 pages because you are mm -hmm. question number number five and then you are finishing question number 40. Yeah. So this is the part that maybe it's a little bit more difficult that you lose time, okay. but very important. So the TOEFL is not specific 30 minutes, 35. 
depend the exam. Believe me, I have taken the TOEFL many times and it's not the same. There are some TOEFLs that are easy and there are some TOEFLs that are really hard. Is mm -hmm. all our TOEFL, but they, I don't know, some exams are easier than other exams. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hope I say the, the easier. Yes. Yes, but, <laughs> but you don't know. I will pray for, for it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Some are easy and some are more difficult. Okay. Thank now, you. the reading difficulty. Sandra, can you please read the reading difficulty? Yes, of course. Reading difficulty level. The TOEFL reading difficulty level is equivalent to an introductory undergraduate university textbook. Most of the passages context is North American, but you may also see some international context from United Kingdom, Australia, and New Zealand. The passages cover a wide range of topics such as social science, including, including anthropology, economics, psychology, psychology, I mean, uh, urban studies, and socio sociology. Uh, science and technology, including astronomy, geology, chemistry, bio biology, physics, engineering, history, government, bi biography, geography, and culture, and uh, art, including literature, painting, sculpture, drama, and architecture. Thank and you. And then just the last part right here. Okay. Even though the reading passages can be difficult to understand, you don't necessarily have to understand it all by learning the strategies to answer each uh, reading question type, you can get a high TOEFL score without fully really understanding the reading passage. The first thing you need to learn are the different types of TOEFL reading question types. Exactly, which is what we are learning. In the first TOEFL of course, we learned some types, here today, we are learning in this course four more types of questions. But remember, how many types of questions are there? Ten. Ten types of questions. So don't worry. We are not have to learn all of them in today. That's why it's three different modules for the different types of questions that you learn in each one. Okay. Could you show the, the text again, please, teacher? Of course. Uh, so I can take the picture. For the, for the reading? Yes, please, please, Of please. course, of course. One second. Okay. For this part. The second, uh, the other, the other part. The, the previous, this one. Um, top of reading introduction. No, 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 no. That, I have it, but the, the other one is, okay, that is. This one. Yes. Uh, oh, a little before, please. A little, a little bit before. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. So, as you can see, the different types of questions have different techniques. Now, the most important is practicing because you say, I but you told me not to read. Yes, but depend the question. Oi, but you told me to go first to read all of it. De you told me to read two sentences before. Depend the type of question you have to learn the technique that is correct for that. Not all the techniques are the correct for all types of questions, okay? We're going to continue now to the third type of questions. We learn two types. We learn vocabulary questions. We learn reference questions. Now yes. we're going to see sentence simplification questions. This is the th a third type. Hi, we're still going inside the top of reading section, especially the sentence simplification questions. Simplification questions. Simplification questions ask you to identify a sentence that has essentially the same meaning as a sentence from the reading passage. The correct answer choice contains the main ideas from the sentence in the passage, but may leave out minor or unimportant details. It should restate the most important information in a simpler way. 
Sentence simplification questions are easy to recognize because the wording of the question is always exactly the same. Which of the sentences below best expresses the essential information in the following sentence? Incorrect choices, change the meaning in important ways, or leave out essential information. The highlighted sentence will have both essential and non-essential information. Your job is to pick the answer choice that best includes the essential information and leaves out the non-essential information. Answering this type of question will require you to understand the relationship between the pieces of information in the sentence. Often, there's an important cause-effect relationship, or there may be a conclusion based on some evidence. So look for those same ideas in the answer choices. Here's an example of a sentence simplification question from a passage. Okay, let's take a look and practice this one. Okay, um, Vanessa, can you please read? Okay, uh, the complete paragraph or the question first? Read the question first, always the question first. Okay, yeah. Uh, the bulk of, okay, the bulk of Kata's read writings was not, was not published until after his early death from tuberculosis. Letter A. It was not until after Kafla's early death from tuberculosis that the bulk of his reading was published after the bulk of his writing was published. Kafla died in early death from tuberculosis, a little c, after Kafla had uh, written the bulk of his published writing, he met with an uh, early death from tuberculosis, letter D, an early death from tuberculosis kept Kafla from publishing the bulk of his reading. Good, writings. Writings. <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa. Writings. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, what is the technique that we need to do? In simplification is we want the same information in a different sentence, not change the information. We want the same important information. So you have to look at the original sentence. What happened first? First, he published or first he died of tuberculosis? He died. First he died. It says early death from tuberculosis. So first he died from tuberculosis and then he published. And bulk of Kafka's writing is the majority. The majority of the writings were published after. So I need to find a sentence that describes this order, dying and then publishing. Which one is first describing dying and then publishing? Letter A. Letter, letter A. A. Letter A. Very good. Now, if we look at letter C, it's similar. Look at letter C. After Kafta had written the book of his published writings, he met with an early death from tuberculosis. Now, what is the difference? Letter C is the same idea, but is not the same information. Mm -hmm. Why? Because here we're talking about after writing here, but in the original, we are not talking about writing. We're talking about publishing. Publishing his writings. We are not talking about he is writing and then publishing. This is why letter C is similar, but is not correct because it does not give us the essential information. The essential information is die and then publish. This is the important or publish after he died. Okay. So the correct answer would be letter A. A. Correct. Because it contains the same information as the first sentence. First he died 
and then most of his writings were published. This so, is like the, the key this, teacher, the key, the key in this case is organize the context. Correct. Yes. And organize the context and not change it. Uh -huh. Because when you organize it and you say, oh, the same. No, no, no. Because mm -hmm. in the original, we are talking about publishing. Mm -hmm. In letter C, we're talking about writing and then publishing. Mm -hmm. So do not change or add information. Okay. That is the most important. But don't worry. It's similar to when you say, hey, Walter, I am happy when I sleep. Or I say I sleep when I am happy is not the same. Okay. It's not the same. We change it. And in the exam, oi, is the same word, but no different meaning. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you all for joining me in our first day of our introduction. Believe me, we're going to learn many techniques. Relax, there are many types of questions. In this module two, we're going to learn specific different types for each one. And then in module three, you're going to learn the final types, okay? But in okay, this, exactly. we're gonna learn the four and tomorrow we have the opportunity to practice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you Thank so you much for much. connecting. Great to see Thank many you. of you. Good night. 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 Good night.